Sebastian Manuel Martinez, MMA Net here with Ryan Bader, who faces Ilya Latifi here at UFC Hamburg. So, uh, Ryan, you're been kind of called out pretty specifically by mm -hmm. Ilya Latifi. After his last fight, he was very clear about who we wanted to fight, and it was you. Yeah. Why do you feel that is? You know, he's. Uh, you know, I think he wants to fight one of the one of the guys in the top ten there. I know he wants to break into that and. Uh, um, Whatever he saw, you know, he thinks he can come in there and beat me, and uh, I don't think that's the case. But, um, you know, he did it respectfully, you know, on uh, social media. I, I saw it on my Twitter feed and, and said, perfect, let's do it. You know, it, I think it's a great matchup for me. So um, that's how it kind of all came about. Still, though, you know, out of, you know, there's 10 fighters to choose from, yeah. you specifically, it, it seems like, you know, some fighters maybe, maybe – in the past at least have you know tried looking past you they've seen you as a, an established name yeah. that they can build themselves on do you think that's the case here yeah that's what i was uh, saying earlier you know i think he saw something in me that he can come out there and beat me you know and so i gotta i gotta uh you know put that fire out and uh you know show everybody else that's not the case so um you know that's a plan i feel good about this fight i feel amazing right now you know uh, uh physically mentally so um it's time to go out there and make a statement and you've obviously been in the UFC a lot longer than him. He's coming up through the ranks now, and he, you know he's starting to make a name for himself. But how much do you feel your experience against top-tier competition will? Uh, how big of a factor do you think that's going to play in this fight? Yeah, I don't really give a shit what he's done, you know, and all that. I've fought who's who of MMA. I've stood across, you know, from guys, uh, you know, starting with, you know, Jardine when I was coming up uh, to Noguera, uh, Rampage, Machida, John Jones, everybody in between, you know. So um, I've been there. I have that experience. I have that. Uh, you know, that, uh, um, that factor of looking across and just another opponent, you know, uh, he hasn't. He hasn't fought those top guys. You know, my last however many fights were against top 10 guys and top five guys. So, you know, for me, it's, uh, um, it's just another fight. It's another guy, and it's a little more uh, um, motivating for me, you know, coming off of my last fight and the last loss and the way it happened, you know, for me. So I want to go back in there and, uh, you know, prove that I'm still one of the best. Well, well, yeah, like many touched on your last fight. People usually say that you learn more from losses than from wins, but, I mean, this was, you know, had a bit of a strange, like, yeah. the way that it, that it played out. Is there any positives that you can take from it, from a fight at all, like anything? Yeah, or was yeah I, I always take the positive out of it. You know, I, I'm not one to sit and dwell over it, you know, because if you do that, you're just in your own head. So, for me, I mean, it was a terrible fight, you know, and, and I'm the first to admit it. You know, it was terrible. I didn't follow the game plan at all. I was, uh, I didn't mean to take that bad shot, but I was halfway in on it, you know, and so... What what's bad about that is that you, I would rather lose you know a decision or you know go out fighting where is this one you didn't feel like he even showed anything at all yeah. you know so it was just terrible all the way around and so for me you know I have to rebound and you know I've trained hard and uh, I've got my mind right and and I've, I'm coming into this fight with a different mindset you know where as before it was uh, I was on a five fight win streak and I was that close to the title and so for me it was just win one more, win one more, win one more, whatever you got to do. And so it maybe took away me taking more risks in fights. And, and so now I feel kind of free to have fun, go out there, approach it differently mentally and uh, uh, take risks and try to go out there and finish a fight, make it exciting for you know, myself and the fans. Well, like you mentioned, you know, there's a lot of pressure about, you know, getting that title shot that everybody wants. How much do you feel that affects not just you, but other fighters as well? Because a lot of times we can see, you know, a fighter will have an extremely striking based style, but then when we get to that one title eliminator, everything changes, but, you know, it's more of a play it safe kind of style. Yeah. Like, do you, do you think, like, it's just kind of daunting, that pressure of getting a title shot? Yeah, it's just kind of, like I was saying, you might not take as many risks if, you know, you, you want to keep this win streak alive, so you fight a certain way. Because um, if you're if you're going to be close to a title shot, you know, winning five fights in a row is what's going to get you there, and then a sixth fight, you know. So for me, I got into that mindset, you know, and so so as I was kind of talking about a different mindset approaching this fight, is I'm kind of free to do whatever. It's not it's not all just about winning and losing anymore, you know. And so um, and that's when I fight my best, and that's when I get the results I want. Is when I'm not worried about going out there and winning at all costs. And so looking at your opponent, Latifi, is always a you know, very stocky, powerful guy, good shots, good overhand rights. How do you go about, you know, making sure that your style overwins his? Yeah, you know, just like you said, he, he's a strong guy. He's, he's short. Um, he doesn't throw straight punches. They're all kind of just hard overhand looping punches. Um, he tries to run you on the cage, you know, so I, I have to dominate that distance. I've got to, um, you know, make the fight mine, basically, you know, and so... Uh, um, he, he likes to fight backing up, and, and so for me, I have to 
definitely own that distance. I got to mix it up with everything. Um, you know, don't let him pin me on the cage. It's just stuff like that. You know, just be technical. Okay, and uh, should you win on uh, on Saturday? It feels like you know having won uh, six out of your last seven isn't too bad, and that you know a new title run could yeah. be uh, could be in the works. But you know things have been changing. Jones has been dropping in and out as champion. Do you feel like it's going to be another tough long run uh, after this fight? To be honest, I'm not even thinking about that or worried about that. You know, so it, it's kind of freeing. You know, because there was a time there when, you know, when the um, uh, the whole I was supposed to fight Cormier. And he got the fight with Johnson. And Gustafson got the fight where I was right there, and, and but maybe get maybe get a title shot, maybe not. And so for me now, since I lost that last fight, it's like, eh, I'm good. I'm not even worrying about it. But the great thing about this sport is it could just you could turn around like that and have one good fight, and you could be in contention. So um, for me right now, it's out of my mind. Looking forward to seeing a free and relaxed Ryan Bader on Saturday. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Yes, sir.